Here's Brody Brazil. Okay, I'm going to geek out here, and I'm going to get to this connection with MC Hammer in just a second. But first, I obviously need to explain this photo. Yes, that's me in 1990, July 24th. It's actually a still image from a home movie on a family vacation to the island of Maui. And I remember before we left, I was getting a haircut, uh, apparently, and I asked for the MC Hammer lines in the side of my head. Now, MC Hammer back then, so popular. He was known for so many things, obviously his music, the baggy pants, dancing, but also his hairstyle, right? He had those lines in the side of his head. It was summertime, wasn't in school. I think my parents decided that because we'd be away for a certain period of time, nobody would actually see this that we knew. And by the time we got back, it might have diminished just a little bit. So they said, what the heck? You're young, do it. So I got those lines in the side of my head. Now, I was coming across this image recently because I was moving some stuff around on a hard drive. I was clearing things out. But before I decided to either move it, delete it, whatever I did with it, I thought, you know what? MC Hammer... He's on Twitter, right? And maybe he would get a kick out of seeing this, or at least I'm going to try. I don't mind sharing this, having other people see it, laugh at it, whatever. And if he's able to see it, boy, that would be icing on the cake. And I have to be honest, for all the things I complain about with Twitter, and yeah, there are some frustrating aspects of social media in general these days, but this redeems it. This makes it all worth it to have the opportunity and the experience like this to directly connect with somebody like MC Hammer. Now, I don't know for sure. I think he might follow me or maybe not, but but that's not even the issue here. I just wanted him to see this. And I hoped enough people shared it, liked it, whatever, so that the next time he logged into Twitter, it would come across his phone. I know he's fairly active on there. Sure enough, a couple minutes later, I mean, this is not long after, Angela says, love it, Brody. And Hammer actually first replies to her reply. He says, fire. With the fist emojis. I'm like, oh, man, that made my night enough right there. So I, I knew he had seen it. I got a kick out of that. And then not long after that, he gave me a reply on the original tweet. And he said, don't hurt him. Which, as you hopefully know, was one of his saying slogans and part of lyrics back in the day. Uh, and, and by the way, if you're a younger person watching this and you don't know who MC Hammer is, or you just know the name, but you don't know what he did and what he created here in Northern California, the East Bay, but obviously across the world, let me ask you to do one thing right now. Stop. Look up Hammer Time. Okay, I, I won't do that again. Uh, but seriously, look him up if, if you're not exactly sure the depth of this. Uh, for me, like if, if I could tell that kid right there that, that he could see that and he would respond to it someday, I would have got a huge kick out of that. So my response kind of as a thank you was this. I think I have to quit Twitter now. It can't get better than this, which, you know, I was not really even being sarcastic. I was being truthful there. Somebody replied to that tweet, my thank you tweet. And I don't have it here, but they said something to the effect of Brody, but you can't quit now because you're now too legit to quit. So there you go. Uh, and then this was also a, a funny reply to the whole thread. Tank for Shane Wright said, a fade and a mullet? Brave. Yeah, and that's the thing, right? I, I had the, I got the picture. I, I had the mullet going on clearly with the MC Hammer lines. That's not exactly the same haircut he had. Uh, he just had the lines on the side. So that's that's all I was trying to replicate. Anyway, I, I just, I thank you, MC Hammer. If you hopefully see this video, I'll, I'll be thrilled about that too. But what an experience. You made my day. You made my night. Uh, you redeemed Twitter for me. This was such a cool experience. I, I got a huge kick out of this. And yeah, who knew um, a photo of, of a video from 30 plus years ago could resurface. I could put it in front of him. And that's all I needed was to know that he saw it. Uh, that was a pretty cool experience. 